Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla, and today we are going to be talking about the Ofra and Leora palette. So if you don't know Leora, she is a YouTuber and she talks about beauty and she does a lot of hauls and try-on videos and um, she just recently collaborated with Ofra. So she created her own little palette with Ofra, which is so excited. I'm so happy for her. She is such a beautiful person. She is very genuine. Um, I always trust all of her reviews. Um, she is honest. I just, I really like her. And so I wanted to support her and I purchased her um, collab that she did with Ofra. So I have the palette here that she created. And then I also have the lip bundle that um, she put together. So the palette she created, she created the colors. The lip products are um, already something that um, Ofra offers. She just put them into like a little favorites bundle, if you will. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing with the palette. So Ofra also compiled a bunch of products that are some of her favorites. And um, if you use her code, you can get like, I think it's like 25% off or something like that. So I also have some of those products here. So for instance, I bought the Ofra primer. And this is the Northern Lights primer. It's what I'm wearing under my foundation today. And um, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, this is the second time that I use it and I don't know there's something going on today and yesterday I used the rare beauty primer to prime my face um, and then I went in with this and they're both kind of luminous products and I don't know if they're the reason why my my foundation kind of feels a little like it's just sitting on top of my face like if I go to rub it it'll come off type of situation so I have to kind of play with this on its own and maybe use uh, a less like dewy foundation or something um, because this is a dewy primer um, and the northern lights um, so I don't know I'm gonna keep using it I'm not sure about how I feel about this right now but I'm gonna keep trying it and see um, you know my opinion might change later on um, I also purchased the Island Time face palette this is one of her favorite palettes she always talks about it um, and I do love blush so I decided to purchase this um, and it's kind of bulky but it's just the outside packaging the actual palette is actually not that bulky so this is what the palette looks like. It kind of reminds me of like an 80s video game or something. It's so cute. Um, and then inside we get five products. We get four blushes and one highlight. I am wearing this blush right here. This is in Punch. So this blush is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And I'm also wearing the highlight, which is Bally, which is what I have on my face as well. Um, I do like this palette so far. I do have to say that the blushes seem to be matte. And um, I do enjoy a little bit of shine and shimmer on my blushes. But that's good because all of my blushes, really, most of them are all like... Um, they have some kind of shimmer or some kind of shine. I don't really have a lot of matte blushes, so this is great. Um, I'm happy with that purchase. Um, I also bought some um, wipes from Ofra. They have worked really well. I've used them um, yesterday and today, and they've worked perfectly fine. Um, and then I have two lip products here. This red one is called ultimate red and this was in her um, list of favorite things um so i decided to give it a try you guys know if you've been with me for a while that i love a good red lip so i'm gonna try that and then as a free gift i got this one which is called palo alto which is kind of like a burnt orange brick type of um color so um that was pretty exciting that i got this as a free gift and then two more products that I bought as well um, is the HD Mascara. Um, this is also one of her favorite products, so I'm excited to give that a try because I don't wear, I don't wear falsies, so I look for a lot out of my mascara. So I'm very excited about this one. And then lastly, I did pick up their setting mist um, the day that I put this um, purchase. Um, 
this spray I think it was like $11 or something like that so it was a really great buy so I'm very excited about this um, it says it's a makeup fixer so it's supposed to keep the makeup last lasting fresh all day so very exciting but first of all we are going to be playing with the um, eyeshadow palette and again um, Leora was the one who created this and I believe it was um, Ofra picked a bunch of influencers to collab with and she was one of them which is so exciting um she is a smaller channel i mean she's obviously big but she's a smaller um youtuber than some others like tanti and things like that but um it's pretty cool that she got to create this little palette with ofra and so this is what it looks like on the inside all the colors are so beautiful this is actually a highlight but she always likes to use it as an eyeshadow so um, it's called Chill Pill, I believe. Bright yellow. No, so this highlight is called Blissful. So I'm excited to try that as well. This green looks really pretty. When I first saw the palette, I was like, oh, a green. I don't know about that, but this green actually looks very, very pretty. So we are going to get started on playing with this. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna take that yellow. So this yellow is called Bright Yellow, and I'm just gonna take my big fluffy brush that I always use, and we're gonna go into that. And the palette also has a mirror, so I'm gonna be using a combination of both this mirror and my mirror that I have here. And I'm just gonna go in with that and put it on my crease. So now that I have that yellow where I want, I'm going to grab another blending brush, one that's a little bit smaller, like this Jeffree Star Morphe one. And I'm going to go into the peach shade, which is called Bittersweet. It's a very pretty peachy um, type of shade. And I'm going to place that on the crease as well, but just underneath that yellow shade. So now I'm going to take another blending brush. This one's a lot like smaller and more tighter. And I'm going to go into the brown shade right here. And this is called Raisin. And I'm going to focus that on the outside of my lid. Okay, so now I am going to go into the little highlight here. This is called Blissful, and I'm going to take that in a flat brush at first. So I'm just going to use this one from Too Faced as a Mr. Right um, small shade uh, brush. And I'm going to try by itself first just to see how pigmented it is. And I'm just going to put it on the lid. And it is pigmented on its own but I want a little something more I'm gonna try my finger too to see like which method of, method of application works best with the finger definitely yeah so the finger is your best friend when it comes to that but you know Let's try and spray in it and see if I can get a little bit more pigment out of it. So we are going to go in with the setting mist. This thing is huge. For like $11, this is like really good. <laughs> it's huge. Oh. 
smell like anything? It smells clean, it smells good. Okay, I feel like it didn't really do like much of a difference than with the finger. So you can either wet your brush or you can um, use your finger and I feel like it's, it's the same thing. It's a pretty color though, I like it. So now I feel like I lost a little bit of that brown on the outer, so I'm just gonna add a little more. And just kind of blend everything together. Then I'm gonna grab that big fluffy brush and kind of blend everything together. Okay, so that is our eyeshadow look. I will use the green on the bottom, but I'm gonna uh, do a little bit of liner. I think that I'm just gonna do a brown line. I don't think I'm gonna wing it or anything, so I'm gonna use my brown liner from Too Faced. Um, I'm gonna put brown on my waterline and I'm going to use the mascara and then we'll be back to finish the eyes. Okay you guys, so let's finish off the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that green on my lower lash line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same um, brush as the e.l.f. blending brush. It's like a smaller, tighter blending brush and I'm going to use that to put that green on my bottom lash line. Ooh, it's very pigmented. I kind of wanted it to be like a little bit thick. We're going to clean it up, of course, but I kind of wanted it to be a little bit thick. I didn't want it to just be like a thin line. So then I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the peach, which is called um, Bittersweet. And I'm gonna clean that green. Okay, and I think that I'm going to take a little bit of the highlighter shade. Where did I put that brush? Okay. So I'm gonna take some of the highlight, which is called Blissful. And I'm going to put a little bit too on my lower lash line. Not exactly halfway, just like a little bit just right there. You can do halfway if you want to, but I'm just going to keep it about a fourth of the way. I'm going to use that same shade and I'm going to put it on my inner corner and my brow bone as well. Last step, I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. Completed look. I think that it came out really pretty. Um, by the way, this mascara is like really good. The only thing that I don't like about it is the brush. It's like a very like thin and like plasticky type of brush, which I'm not a fan of. But the actual formula, like it's really, really good. Another thing is that because it's white, like it's already all dirty. Like I already got it so dirty. Um, but I really like the way that it came out, like the way that the lashes look they look so big and so like full of volume that i really do like it i also like the way that the eyeshadow and the eye look came out um i got a little bit of mascara on my eyes so it's turning a little red so i'm sorry about that <laughs> but um I think that it looks really pretty. I think that it came out so, so pretty. At first, I wasn't sure about that green, but it actually looks really nice. Um, I'm going to try it like on my lid one day and see um, because it actually looks really pretty. Let's swatch it in our hand and see um, how the colors perform. So first up, we have a chill pill, which is the green one. Very, very pretty. 
Then we have bright. Oh wait. Then we have raisin, which is like the brown one. Then we have um, bittersweet, which is the peach one. Then we have bright yellow, which of course is the yellow one. Okay, and lastly, we have a blissful, which is the highlight one. Which is so pretty. Um, so my thoughts, I, I like the palette. Um, the only thing is that I feel like with um, Bittersweet and Raisin, I feel like when I put them on the lid, um, they kind of look very similar. I was thinking their Raisin was going to be a lot um, darker than it actually is, but it's really not. Um, so I don't know. I, I would have liked to see Raisin just to be a little bit more darker. Um, that is the only complaint that I have. Other than that, all the other shades are so pretty. Um, I wanted to use all of the colors today on my eyes, but I can sit here and I can already picture like looks that I would do um, with this palette. For instance, like I would just use um, Bittersweet all over the crease and then this one all over the lid and call it a day. Um, or do a mix of these three and call it a day or I can even do the peach one and the green and call it a day um, so I can sit here and picture like all different looks which is a good thing um, because when I first saw it when she first talked about it I was kind of like oh my gosh would I really use it would I get a lot of use out of it um, I don't know about that green green is not a color that I typically gravitate towards but actually, I really do like the way that my eyeshadow came out today, and I really did like the palette. My only complaint was that I really would have liked Raisin to be a little bit more darker. But other than that, I think that it's a very pretty palette, and I can use it every day, which is, you know, amazing. Um, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. And yeah, so next, let's move on into the little um, lip kit that she also... Um, you know put together these are colors that are already owned by Ofra or that Ofra already has in their collection she just created a bundle so we have Brooklyn here which is a liquid lipstick I have never tried um I haven't really tried anything from Ofra uh, the only thing that I've ever tried was a little blush palette from the Madison Miller collection that they had with Ipsy a while ago and um the lip glosses from that collection as well other than that i've never used sofra this is the first time and i'm impressed i actually liked everything that i've tried so far so we are gonna go in with a brooklyn and see what we think okay so here is what the lipstick looks like on its own it is a matte liquid lip i believe it says long lasting liquid lipstick not sure if it's supposed to be matte or not. It hasn't dried down matte, so um, I don't know exactly if it's going to be matte or not. It doesn't say anywhere that it's matte, so if it stays like this, I actually like it a lot. It's very, very pretty. I'm going to put a little bit of the lip gloss on top just to see how it looks. And um, the lip gloss, of course, clear lip, lip gloss, she is obsessed with clear lip gloss, so she decided to put that in the bundle and then she chose the uh, lipstick color because of course she lives in brooklyn <laughs> i'll link her stuff down below so you guys can check her out definitely do she is uh she's an amazing girl she really is she um like i said i trust her opinion on products i feel like she's always very honest and she's not going to tell you that she likes something just because they gave it to her for free or you know she collab with it or whatever she she i feel like she honestly tells you what she thinks 
Um, so yeah, um, this lipstick, to be 100% honest, is not something that I would choose for myself. Or maybe it's the eyeshadow that's kind of throwing me off. Maybe with like a different eye look, I would like it a little bit better. Um, because I don't hate the color. I just feel like I look a little bit weird. I think it might be because the eyeshadow. I just feel like maybe everything is just a little too much for my liking. Um, uh, maybe with, uh, something a little bit just more subtle. I um, so yeah, I will have to try this, um, lip color with, you know, maybe a different eye look. I feel like maybe the eyes was throwing me off. I'm not quite sure. But, um, but it's a pretty color. I do like it. I just need to try it with something else. Um... So yeah, that is what I have from the Aura. I kind of want to swatch the two lipsticks here and see what they look like. Um, I've seen her wear this red one a couple of times. Oh, it looks so pretty and so vibrant. Vibrant. So let's see. Oh yeah, this looks very pretty. That looks like a very pretty red. I have a feeling that I'm gonna like that one a lot. And then this one, and again, that one was called Ultimate Red. And then this one is called Palo Alto. Ooh, okay. I love how creamy these are. And so that is Palo Alto right there. It looks so pretty. Definitely a color that I might want to wear. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just, oh, let's try the setting spray and see how it feels. Ooh, okay, it's a little aggressive. And it smells kind of like baby perfume. <laughs> baby perfume? Yeah. There's this um little like cologne perfume type of thing that um, in Costa Rica we put like for our babies. Kind of smells like that. Look kind of nice. Um, feels nice too. Ooh, it dries pretty fast as well. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot actually. This, yes, I like this a lot. Um, okay, so I definitely did like the eyeshadows. So if you guys, um, I think it's still available. Actually, it is still available. So I will link it down below. Um, show her some love she is amazing like i said i trust her opinion um on products and i love her videos and i love her vibe and she's so fun and so vibrant and you know she's she's a really cool person um she is the type of person that i would be friends with if we knew each other in real life and um funny enough we actually share the exact same birthday i don't know if we're the same age i don't think so i think she might be younger than me um but we share the exact same day. We were both born on October 29th. So that is pretty, pretty cool. And um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts, your comments down below. Have you purchased it? Do you know Leora? Um, you know, just let me know down below. I want to know, what do you think of Ofra? This is the first time that I try it. And I have to say that I am very impressed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.